Yanni Chirinos, their boy Yanni Chirinos comes in, gives you five innings, one hit, one walk, and then uh, they got relievers. They end up giving up one run. They, I mean, they're they're fucking studs. Their team, Tommy Pham, he's batting third. Uh, Korean dude Choi, I can't remember his first name. He's batting cleanup for him. Austin Meadows. Yeah, I'm looking there. right now. Yeah, Austin Meadows is leading the is leading the team in like every single batting category. Yeah, I mean, I think he's pretty he's pretty high up there in ribbies, even for like the AL and like ribbies and home runs as well. Uh, and he's a new dude, right? He's pretty fucking young. Obviously, I mean, I've never really heard of him until like quite recently. I mean, they have an okay team. They're a team though. They got to make a move, man. They got to fucking they got to make a move. No, I would have to agree with that, man. For if they bats. if they pick for a bat, one, one stud, they could be right there. Oh, I agree. I mean, they're pitching right now. Is if if Blake Snell is this Chirinos guy is three and zero. I mean, Blake Snell, if his ass is, uh, as long as he can stay, obviously all the pitchers, you know, but Blake Snell's currently hurt. If he can stay healthy. They're they're gonna run away with the East, honestly. Like I mean, they're so you know, Austin Meadows right now is fucking OPS is like eleven hundred. Um, you know, some of the other guys are actually struggling a little bit. Not as good. The hit the batting hasn't been very good. But again, Glass now just the other day, probably his worst his worst performance of the year was seven innings and two earned runs. You know, and that's not too bad. ERA is at one point one three four and zero. Oh. I mean, they're they're pretty fucking good. If Snell can, and obviously he he's the ace of the team. If they can stay fucking good with that, then uh, yeah, Snell almost had a no hitter two days ago or three days ago. The day he got did injured, you hear, he had a one hitter. Speaking of like Snell, did you hear how he got hurt? No. I, oh, it was in a, was it in a bathroom or something? Yeah, yeah. He he was getting out of the shower and he broke his fourth toe. He broke his fourth toe in the. It was like a toe stub or something, wasn't it? Did he stub his toe or some shit? Yeah, he was like. He was like lifting something and like the bottom of the pipe wasn't glued on and he like lifted it up and a pipe dropped right on his toe. Well, that's, you know, it's obviously either it's being it's kind of stupidity, probably not, or just really unfortunate. I mean, but, it sounds stupid, but I mean, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know that, yeah, that uh, I mean, it was it, really his fault. Shit's wet, obviously, fucking hard surfaces. <laughs> the pipe wasn't fitted properly or something like that I mean that, that kind of makes sense how about Mike Trout with a 569 on base percentage right now man on a shitty Angels team fuck uh, I didn't even see that he was still up that high is he leading the league I mean he's he's got to it was 569 yesterday. I, I I don't know what it is exactly right now. I have it written down from yesterday. Well, the but, Angels aren't even that bad. They're 8-10. and 10. They're only a half game no, worse yeah, than the Yankees. They're not terrible, but goddamn. Everybody in that division is good, though. That's the problem. Let me see this motherfucking... I'm trying to push buttons and shit. Where's, where's this Mike Trout batting average? Or Mike Trout on base percentage here. Yeah, he's hitting 366. My he's got a 571 God. on base percentage, so it actually went up since yesterday. Jeez. Stats. Here we go. Baseballreference.com. That's this my, guy. That's my go-to. That's my go-to. They actually didn't pay me for that, but they should. Yeah, his that was OPS, a good luck. 13 fucking 100. 13 fucking 100. Yeah, on base. And that's actually with a somewhat low – well, no, it's a high-ass slugging. It'd be the best slugging in his career. But, (laughs) yeah, I mean, fucking 571 on base, that would, you know, be 100 points higher than he's ever had in his career. 366, obviously the best batting average he's ever had in his fucking career. Leading the league in walks as well, I'm pretty sure, with 17. Uh, Not hitting for a ton of power, though. I mean, five home runs, that's pretty good, you know, but – no, you know, about half of the league lead. Only two doubles, no triples. So not a lot of power other than those home runs, really. Um, definitely getting on base and shit, though. Just super efficient, right? Yeah. Already two war wins above replacement. I got to look this stat up, man. Who are the war leaders? This is this is a fucking important stat to be looking at. I know that I know that he's he's been on the top. 
I think Acuna's was 1.6 last I saw. Really? Yeah. Already? Yeah. And then, oh, Cody Bellinger, 2.1, bro. Yeah, Acuna, 1.6. This is this is claiming Trout's only at 1.8. But Bellinger, oh, 2.2. No, Trout at 2. So Trout is, uh, Trout is 2. 2.2 for Bellinger. Half a half of Trout's points are coming from defense, though. The only people with that many are uh, Kermeyer from Tampa Bay and Javi Baez. Manny Machado, half of his points. Manny Machado has one, and it's literally half defense, half offense. That is one thing, dude. Have you been seeing some of the plays he's been making, man? No, I have not. Are you having a fire problem, man? No, that was my laptop. Oh, uh, word. Are you on your laptop right now? Well, it just it just died on me, so that's uh, what that noise was. No, I, never mind. I was wondering if that was your we, Skype. I'm Skyping you. Like, you're Skyping on my laptop. Nice. We should pause right quick so I can go plug this in and get my dog. All right. Sounds good, bro. Okay. All right. We're back, people. Uh, we, yeah, we were just going through the war here. Bellinger at 2.2. Most of that's offensive. 1.8 offensive. I mean, he has uh, not, you know, not a great defensive player there. Acuna third, you know, your boy definitely. He only has, he has the same defensive rating though as, uh, as Bellinger does, which isn't great. I saw Lorenzo Cain at a point six. He has actually has the highest defensive rating out of anybody here, which is fucking, uh, pretty sweet, you know, overall for him. He has the same wins above replacement as Machado does though. Actually, Lorenzo Cain. Nobody ever thinks Jesus. about that either. I mean, honestly, McCutcheon does too. Fucking McCutcheon does. He has the same wins above replacement as Lore- or as uh, well Lorenzo Cain and fucking Manny Machado and Dansby Swanson. How about Dansby Swanson up there with, with Manny Machado? Dansby's out. having a great year so far, man. He is having a great year. Fucking uh, Aaron Judge up there at one point two, pretty goddamn good. Uh. Same with Kermeyer, Hobby Baez. Yeah. But how about fucking Jake Arietta, man? 1.5. I think he's the highest. He is the highest pitcher. pitcher. I know, man. 1.5 for a pitcher. And some of that comes in defense, too, which is fucking weird. But, uh, yeah, man. That was a huge signing for. For Philadelphia. I love bagging on the Cubs. For some reason, I like I say, I love seeing the Cubs take L's. But that was a he's he's playing off off the chain. I think he had a shutout like last night or two days ago. Well, yep, yep. Uh, Ariel was, was looking real good this well. week. Yeah, he has been. On, uh, did you see Brigitte Bryce Harper is actually not playing that well? You see that shit? No, I think he's only hitting like two sixty nine. Two sixty nine. Max Fried is up there. Spot. Max Fried has more wins above re- uh, re- replacement than Bryce Harper does. There you go, my boys. <laughs> yeah, fucking. Uh, I'm trying to look up Harper Harper's little. Eh, whatever. Fucking. Uh, what other teams you thinking of, bro? What What else is going on? Did you see Tim Anderson from yesterday? Did you see that shit? Nah. What Tim Anderson? I feel like do? I'm the brawl guy. He hits a homer. He's been slumping a little bit. He's down to only like 430 or something like that. But he hits a home run. Uh, and then like straight up Chuck flips the bat. Like not like a – like straight up overhand Chuck flips the bat. Does his thing. Gets beaned in the ass. <laughs> his next his next time up obviously, right? He gets beaned in the ass. You knew what I was going with or where I was going with that. Uh, and fucking – so at the end of the game, basically start talking shit. Doesn't, doesn't do a whole lot really. At the end of the game, the the ump I can't remember the fucking guy's name, Joe West or something like that. He said he said he couldn't comment, like literally couldn't comment on what was being said just because of how vanity it was. But so I'm guessing like almost everything they were saying was, was like calling people bitch and pussy and like fuck you and all that shit. But yeah, so so Tim Anderson starts yelling, the catcher Moldonado gets in front of him. He's he's cussing out the pitcher, just cussing him the fuck. Uh, and they're yelling. Bench is bench is kind of clear and shit. 
uh, get, they get around Tim Anderson, the, the Royals do. And then the fucking uh, Royals manager, I can't remember who it is, and then the White Sox manager, Rick Renda, uh, they like almost get in a fight. They were actually the ones that were the, the most crazy in the whole fucking situation. Other than Tim Anderson talking shit. And then Tim Anderson's been talking shit on Twitter as well. People have been like telling him not to flip his bat. And then, and then, I don't know, he's been calling people out and shit. It, it's kind of funny, man. But like, the two managers almost got in a fucking fight. Next time he's going to throw his hat into the, into the, other, the opposing team's dugout. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's a stupid rule, though. Look, I guess I'm the guy that talks about balls on this show. All in the or something. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was pretty fucking crazy. Man. And I'm not sure. I, I think they're talking about maybe a 10-game suspension for the pitcher who, who, who pitched the ball. He really didn't do anything after that, honestly. Shit. Oh, uh, damn. Just spilled my beer and balls. Anyways. Oh, Jesus. Bro. Yeah, bro. It's worse for me than it is for any of them. But yeah, uh, I thought that was a pretty fucking interesting thing that went down. I don't know. Tim Anderson's still batting pretty well. Uh, home run yesterday. I think he's at like four home runs now. Still batting well over 400. Playing pretty damn good. It'd be great if, if he could keep that up. Right? I would love to see another, another hitter uh, hit 400. Isn't Ted Williams the only one that's ever done it? Uh, yeah, well, I think it's the most recent one. Yeah, I'm, uh, I mean, I, I think he's just the most recent one to have ever done. My computer's acting fucking weird real quick, but we can keep talking because it did this yesterday and it still worked. All right, sorry guys. As I was telling him, I run a a shitty-ass computer from 2009 just for the nostalgia's sake, but it kind of had some technical difficulties here for a second, so we had to do some pause action. Probably heard some weird shit. Probably about the last 30 seconds there. Uh, But we're back. And how about the Mariners, Matt? What are you thinking? Man, they got, uh, they got swept by the Astros over the weekend, and they've lost six in a row, man. They, uh, they're they starting to crumble, what, what we've been talking about from the beginning. I just mm. don't know if uh, they can keep this up. They're one, of, they're one of two teams that have a winning record and have allowed more than 100 runs on the air, them in Milwaukee. Yeah, that's, that's pretty ridiculous. I did see that six in a row. Uh, did you see that they became the first team, or, or basically they hit a home run in every game for the first 19 games, which is like four more than any team ever? And so that, that's obvi- that's been how they're winning, Jesus, obviously. No. Yeah, fucking uh, right, right. 132 runs scored on the season. Pretty sure that's number one yeah, by 10 runs over the Dodgers. But yeah, literally, they set by four games. They hit a home run for the first 19 games, and that was a, a record by four games, man. Uh, but you're right, six six losses in a row. Um, I think they're weird anomaly too. They're five and seven at home, eight and one on the road. There's no way they can keep up that eight and one on the road. Um, and obviously the five nah. and seven will probably get better. But I mean, I think that they're more of a, a 500 team, maybe slightly over 500. Still, I mean, I mean, I was the one talking shit about them when they were 13 and two, but I still think that way. And the Astros, like you were saying, the sweep for the and Astros. I, I think it's the class of that division. Oh, damn. I know. They, they've they lost one, one in a row. I mean, their last one, I guess that's not a ton. But, yeah, fucking, they've only given up 56 runs undefeated at home. So they're the exact opposite, 500 ball on the road. And they actually started pretty slow, won nine of their last ten games. Clearly, they have them or the – I mean, they have arguably the best pitching. I mean, you could take either them, Tampa Bay, maybe Cleveland. As the best pitching, but uh, I mean, 56 runs allowed on the season, 13 more than Tampa Bay, but uh, you know that's come down quite a bit as far as lately. Yeah, and Jose Altuve out there is is, is uh, raking again. Yes, he is, man. Jose Altuve is a beast. Last year, everybody was like sleeping on him and shit. I know Bregman balled out. Uh, let me look up some Altuve stats. I know Bregman Ball last year, and he was like an MVP candidate. But everybody was acting like Altuve was some bitch and shit like that. Or even Correa. Like, Carlo, Carlos Correa won the fucking batting title a couple of years ago. I mean, uh, they were acting like these guys are like some bitch. They won like 103 games and shit like that. But Altuve is back, playing goddamn well, batting, what, 310? 
Can't even see here. Eh, I don't know. 